The man grabbed the spittoon with one hand and made a gorgeous turn to buckle the sea monster in front of him and saw a waterweed-like monster poured into the spittoon. He pushed with all his might and finally subdued the sea monster. But he is caught by a little girl and a wonderful adventure is about to begin. There is a lot of danger here, there is laughter and tears. Most importantly, there will always be someone holding your hand. This is the domestic animation Deep Sea that we want to talk about in this issue. Beetlejuice takes its name from the Star of the Winter Night, a red supergiant that is about to die. The name shows how much the parents loved the baby until the year they divorced. Beetlejuice's universe completely collapsed, and I remember that it snowed heavily when my mother left. Her long hair obscured her eyes, and the painting became a nightmare for Beetlejuice forever. The father who gradually became indifferent suddenly appeared as a new mother, and the younger brother who took away all the pampering. Made Beetlejuice the invisible person of this family of four, and she became silent. Forever cowered in the red hood left behind by his mother, the hospital said that Beetlejuice had depression. The father thinks that the child can be so troubled, as long as he smiles more, it will naturally be fine. There is no need to spend that unjust money for treatment, the little Beetlejuice remembered his father's advice. She learns to disguise herself with a smirk, and Beetlejuice, a gift that doesn't fit, will smile and say she likes it. In her dark world, her mother was the only light, but that light was getting fainter and fainter. On this day, my father took the whole family on a cruise vacation for the sake of his favorite little brother. The ship was called Sirius, and it was very close to Beetlejuice in the constellation Orion. She was eager to share the news with her mom, but the chat interface was still stuck in 2019. Mom said don't send a message if it's not important, and Beetlejuice deleted the text of the dialog box. Lying on the railing in a daze, my mother said that she made a wish to the sea on her birthday. The sea elves would help make her wish come true, and she was thinking about it as she heard the laughter of her parents behind her. The family of three was about to take a group photo, and the stepmother remembered the lonely Beetlejuice. Quickly called her over to take a group photo and after the shooting, Beetlejuice was thrown aside again. She wanders aimlessly and stumbles upon a picture book in which the shopkeeper is dressed as a clown. Said that this book is called The Legend of the Deep Sea Hotel, and the family gets together for dinner in the evening. The mobile phone in Beetlejuice's pocket vibrated as a birthday greeting from the messenger. Cold without a trace of temperature, the father interrupted the daughter who was looking at the phone. Let her celebrate her brother's kindergarten together, and Beetlejuice squeezes out a smile and clinks glasses. After struggling to survive the dinner, a painful Beetlejuice rushed to the deck after nightfall. She seems to have seen her mother in the storm, and Beetlejuice is swept into the depths of the sea. The red hat sank into the water, and when she opened her eyes, she found herself floating above the sea. Beetlejuice climbs onto the duck life buoy and sees a small black monster. It also sings its mother's usual songs, and Beetlejuice intuitively thinks this is the legendary sea elf. Plucking up the courage to follow, she followed the elf through a gate. Immediately after that, a huge building surfaced with the words Deep Sea Hotel written on it. There are also many diners arguing on the sidelines, complaining that the food here is unpalatable. Beetlejuice found that the diners were all seafood, either fish or walruses. She was suddenly discovered by the fat fish eaters, and everyone shouted cheers when they saw the appearance of humans. Unceremoniously drove Beetlejuice away, and the sea elves were a little angry when they saw this. When it returned to the sea, it suddenly grew in size, and the sea turned upside down. The sea elves rolled up the crowd and rushed into the hotel, and Beetlejuice was also pushed forward by the sea. She bumped into an uncle in a suit, who picked up a spittoon and confronted the sea elf. I saw that the huge elf was sucked into the spittoon and returned to its original size. Beetlejuice crawls over to stop the uncle, explaining that the sea elves just want to help him find his mother. The uncle didn't listen to the explanation, stretched out his hands, and drained all the water from the hotel out of the hotel. Beetlejuice was also rushed outside, and the chef Lao Jean complained that the uncle had driven the guests away. 
so they let people go to the sewers to fish, and Beetlejuice was mixed with the diners. Dragged to the back kitchen of the restaurant, she squeezed out of the busy group of chefs. Wanting to find the lost sea elves, Beetlejuice made it all the way to the lobby. Seeing the restaurant, Hai was holding the spittoon and mixing in the line of serving food. In a moment of frustration, she knocked down the waiter and broke the can of gnocchi soup by mistake. Beetlejuice licked the pimple soup on the side of his mouth, and he hallucinated. Vaguely seeing his mother feeding himself cake, Beetlejuice rushed straight to the dining table. But the uncle was not allowed to eat people for nothing, so he took off his shoes and threw them vigorously. Beetlejuice was smashed to the table, and the entire table was smashed into the air. The uncle rushed over with an arrow step and came with a set of gorgeous dance moves. All the food was successfully rescued, but his shoes fell into the guest's hot pot. In order to save the reputation of the hotel, the uncle bit to death, which is gluten. After saying that, he stuffed the sneakers into his mouth and ate them, and he swallowed them in one gulp and could only get angry at Beetlejuice, trying to drive the other party out of the hotel. But seeing that the diners were leaving, the uncle was anxious to pull Beetlejuice and rushed to the center, ready to change into a magic trick to keep the guests. He poured a large glass of beer onto Beetlejuice, and in the blink of an eye, the girl was trapped in the giant glass. Uncle took the opportunity to introduce a gnocchi soup boiled with sea elves, which had a magical hallucinogenic effect. The guests were successfully retained, and Beetlejuice was thrown out of the hotel. She looked at the black waters and felt a deep sense of fear, and the old Kim in the ship realized that something was wrong. Because there were a lot of frustrated ghosts outside the window, he quickly woke up the crew to start the ship. The spirited ghost came out with its red body stretched, and if it was entangled, it could be killed. Lao Jean instructed everyone to power the car and try their best to break through the frustrated encirclement. After a dangerous night, they finally got out of the crisis and stopped at the sea to rest. Beetlejuice climbed out of the side of the boat, and the uncle was startled when he saw this. Also accused her of inviting the frustrated ghost, because that guy likes to pester the frustrated child the most. Beetlejuice wanted to cry when she heard the guilt, and the uncle quickly wiped away her tears. For fear that Beetlejuice would attract frustration again, a large number of diners gathered around to quarrel. Everyone wants to continue drinking pimple soup, and the uncle feels that this is a business opportunity that cannot be missed. So let Beetlejuice stay in the back kitchen to do chores, and the sea elf she brought couldn't leave. I have to advertise the pimple soup in the store, and wait for the deep sea hotel to be rated 5 stars. The uncle let the sea elves go and Beetlejuice stayed in the hotel like this. She finally knew that her uncle's name was Nanha, and it was very fateful to be in the winter night sky. Beetlejuice in Orion forms the Winter Triangle with Sirius in Canis Major and South River 3 in Canis Minor. Beetlejuice came here to meet Nanha, and it was destined for a long time. Aunt Hua in the store welcomed her very much, but Lao Jean was dissatisfied. Beetlejuice spent a fulfilling and happy time at the Deep Sea Hotel. But in fact, Nanha is secretly using sea elves to cook soup and is preparing to drive Beetlejuice out of the hotel as soon as he lands on the shore. Seeing that the rating of the store is getting better and better, it will soon reach four stars. Nanha has earned a lot of money, and his mood is getting better and better. He personally made a movie for the clerk to treat everyone, and the staff gathered around to watch the movie and had a great time. In such an environment, Beetlejuice rarely showed a sincere smile, and Nanha stopped her at the end. Pay attention to the other party smile like today, and don't always smirk at the guests. He also told Beetlejuice jokes, and the two laughed together until Namha fell drunk on the bed. Beetlejuice packed up his room and prepared to leave, but heard the voice of a sea elf. She opened the tightly sealed rice cooker, only to find that the other party was locked inside. The sea elf regained its freedom and immediately fled the room, being furious for being cooked. Taking advantage of Nana's drunkenness, he ran out of the hotel, and Beetlejuice climbed out of the pipe to catch up. But the other party had already fled, and she knew that the sea elves had been captured and cooked soup. 
Nanha, the initiator, did not feel guilty and admitted that he had been lying to her from the beginning. When she lands on the shore, she will leave Beetlejuice behind, and Aunt Hua and the little sea otter are very reluctant to her. But the ship had docked, and Beetlejuice was crowded into the crowd and left, and the world was so big that she could not find a place to live. Beetlejuice couldn't help but cry bitterly. The depressed ghost seemed to smell sadness and immediately haunted him. Nan had couldn't help but be a little worried when he saw the black clouds in the distance and the depressed ghosts over there gradually expanded. Beginning to chase the fleeing Beetlejuice, it follows the other party all the way to the docks. Beetlejuice has no way to escape and his eyes are dragged into the deep sea by dejection. Just when she was about to drown, Nan had chased after her to rescue and he took Beetlejuice's hand and ran wildly. The two didn't dare to stop for a moment, and Nana's money was scattered all over the place. He didn't care about these and ran for his life with Beetlejuice, and the two fell into the water together. Nanha uses magic to block the flow of water, and with the last of his strength, he pushes the other party out of the sea. Beetlejuice flashed a few images in a blur, and the uncle with clown makeup on his face was saving her. But he struggled in the water, and when Beetlejuice woke up, he found himself in a hotel. She immediately went to Nanha, fortunately, the other party was fine, but the money was gone, and the boat was also hit in tatters. Nanha asks Beetlejuice to help him find the Eye of the Deep, which is where all sea elves belong. Nanha can make a fortune with this, and Beetlejuice can rely on this to find his mother, which is simply killing two birds with one stone. A boatload of people embarks on the journey, and Beetlejuice can hear the singing of the sea elves. She could follow the voice and direct everyone forward, and Lao Jean complained all the way to the boat. Always don't trust Beetlejuice, but fortunately, Aunt Yu Hua and Nanha believe in her. This night Beetlejuice dreamed again, and she returned to that snowy night, but her mother's face changed to Nanha. Then she was engulfed by a depressed ghost, and the drowning scene flashed again. In fact, when you see this, you can understand that in the real world, after Beetlejuice fell into the water, it was the stranger Nanha who jumped into the sea to save people. He is the bookstall owner who appeared before, and reality has affected the illusion in which Beetlejuice is located. The girl woke up from her dream, gasping for breath. She immediately went to confirm the status of Nanha, and the other party thought that Beetlejuice was hungry immediately got up to help her make noodles, and Beetlejuice looked out the window at the painting. Nanha said it was his hometown, but now he can't go back. As for the reason, Nanha did not disclose it, but Beetlejuice was infected by his grief and thought of his mother again. She felt that being abandoned was her own reason, and Nanha hurriedly coaxed Beetlejuice to be happy when she saw this. He danced around the house, imagining a better future after making a fortune. Please also travel around the world with Beetlejuice, and when the time comes, you can cry and laugh when you want. No longer having to please others, Beetlejuice is mesmerized by the future he describes. At this time, Lao Jean came over to interrupt the two, saying that he seemed to have found the eye of the deep sea. Beetlejuice looked at the bottom of the sea and felt inexplicably frightened, but Nanha enthusiastically commanded everyone forward. I saw the deep sea sail to the bottom of the sea and the depressed ghost chased after it again, and the seawater squeezed into the cabin. The situation is becoming more and more dangerous, and Nanha is reluctant to retreat. Lao Jin couldn't help but complain, he didn't understand it yet, but he always wanted to be a hero. He gritted his teeth and continued to move forward, and Beetlejuice looked at Nanha standing in front of him to open the way, and his heart was full of guilt. It was he who brought in the frustrated ghost to make him work so hard, and Beetlejuice wanted to call Nanha back. The other party drew a smile on the glass, and Nanha moved forward without hesitation. But the frustrated ghost gradually got into the cabin, and the crew was rushed away, and Beetlejuice looked at the Nanha River in front of him. Suddenly with great courage, she clung to the boat. Nanha also used his magic to the fullest, and they finally rushed into the eye of the deep. I saw the colorful light hovering overhead, beautiful like the world in Van Gogh's eyes. The dust of the stars drifts in the cabin, and everything is like a dream. 
Beetlejuice didn't see Nana's figure, and at this time, his mother's humming sounded in his ears. The sea elf followed, and it led Beetlejuice to a room. Then there was a bang in the drawer, and Beetlejuice picked up his phone inside. The caller turned out to be my mother, and the next second, she suddenly floated into the air. The picture book of Deep Sea Hotel turns the pages in the wind, and the past flashes like a flashback. Beetlejuice suddenly saw a light above her head, and her mother stretched out a warm hand to hug her. Beetlejuice turned around and saw Nanha struggling on the surface of the sea, life on one side and death on the other. She returned to the darkness to save people without hesitation, and the sound of an ECG monitor sounded in her ears. And the heartrending cry of the mother, the original situation gradually surfaced. The stranger rescued Beetlejuice, who jumped into the sea, and the two of them grabbed the duck swimming ring and floated on the surface of the sea for a long time. Nam Ha has been reciting the beautiful portrait of Lak's hometown, and said that it would be nice if there was magic. You can split the sea and hurry home, all the stories that Beetlejuice encountered in the hotel. All the words heard came from the whispers of the South River, and when finally a boat passed by. The duck swimming ring had become dry, and Nanha dragged Beetlejuice himself into the sea. Beetlejuice wanted to return to Nanha, and she broke free from the barrier in front of her. Passing through the dissipating illusion, he failed to catch Nanha's hand. The scene shifts to a flat land with snowflakes floating in the sky. Nam Ha turned around and said that he was going home and that it was time for the two to separate. Beetlejuice hugged him, but Nanha said it wasn't your fault. The world is indeed gray at times, not as colorful as in dreams. But as long as there is a little light, a little wonderful moment of insignificance, it is worth living. Nanha hopes that Beetlejuice will stop doing stupid things, and that every smile will be sincere in the future. Beetlejuice smiled and nodded, and the two headed in opposite directions, and the South River turned into a glimmer of light and dissipated. And Beetlejuice finally reconciles with himself and wakes up from the hospital, and the film ends here. The visuals are stunning, and the story blends with the original family. For popular social themes such as depressed children, the director designed a lot of careful thoughts. The sea elves and resentful ghosts in the film represent different meanings, and the image of the sea elves comes from the mother's snowy day retrospective. It consists of hair and eyes and seems to symbolize Beetlejuice's obsession. Therefore, the sea elves gradually changed from their mother to Nanha, both of which are hopes that Beetlejuice wants to grasp. The image of the resentful ghost comes from the red hoodie, which attacks people in the form of rapping and rapping. Whenever Beetlejuice falls into a negative mood, the resentful ghost will appear. It is equivalent to the embodiment of the protagonist's depression and self-loathing, and there is a small detail in the film. When the family of four was photographed, Beetlejuice's family members were wearing doll hoods. As can be seen from the style of the doll, the old Kim in the hotel corresponds to his father. Aunt Hua is equivalent to her stepmother, and the little sea otter represents the younger brother. Even in a fantasy world, Beetlejuice unconsciously beautifies his family. The desire to draw warmth from it, but the deep sea hotel is a fantasy of the girl after diving, and fortunately, Nanha really exists. But he also exposed the weakness of the film, this savior from heaven is too faceless. This lack of effective motivation makes the story constructed by the director not solid. This is also an important reason for the polarization of deep sea evaluations, no matter what the story of the film is. The animators are honed to make the effects, and all of this is worth encouraging. Woman movies have finally stepped out of mythology and begun to dabble in a wider range of themes, and every attempt is a sure progress.